Now the date shift cipher is a much harder cipher to break because you vary the amount of the shift from letter to letter. Now there are many ways to do this and one way is to use the date which you send the message as your key. So if I send my message on May 12th in the year 1996, okay, I can write May 12th, 1996 as a number. Okay, and that number becomes 051296, right? And so that's going to be my key. And you can eliminate the dashes so it becomes a six digit number. Okay, so if our message is look under desk, okay, how do we do that with a date shift cipher? Let me show you. So above the words look under desk, you want to write this number over and over. So you're going to write zero five one two nine six zero five one two nine nine six and end in a zero so no matter how long it is you just keep writing zero five one two nine six zero five one two nine six over and over and over until you're done okay and to encode the message you're going to shift by the number of uh, that's above the letter so for example L has a zero shift so that's just going to be L but O is going to shift 5, so you count. So O, P, Q, R, S, T. So that'll be a T. Okay, but this O is now only be shifted by 1. So that'll be a P. K is going to be shifted by 2. So K, L, M. O, or I'm sorry, U is going to be shifted by 9. So let's take a look. So U, V, W, X, Y, Z, A, B, C, D. Okay, and there's my five, so I'm going to group it in five, so it's harder to figure out what the word is. Okay, so N is shifted by six, and so that's going to be N, O, P, Q, R, S. Okay, D is not shifted. E is shifted by five. Okay, so an E is F, G, H, I, J. R is shifted by one, which is S. D is shifted by two, which is F. Okay, and there's my second word. Okay, and then I've got an E shifted by 9, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. Okay, S is shifted by 2, I'm sorry, S is shifted by 6, so that's S, T, U, V, W, X, Y. Okay, and K is not shifted at all. And then you can put some nulls on the end. Okay, just like that. So look under desk is now encoded as this message. Now to decode, you need to write the key number over the cipher of, of the text. Okay, so to decode it, I'll write it in another color. Okay, so so if I had this, I would first I would, I would first have it like this, and then I would say zero five one two nine six zero five one two nine six zero five one. Okay. And so we're going to shift each one backwards. So L is no shift. T shifted back 5. That's going to be O. P shifted back 1 is O. M shifted back 2 is K. D shifted back 9. You have to wrap around the alphabet and you find it's a U. Okay. And then you can continue to find it actually says look under desk. And then you'll also have that which you can scratch off. Okay. Now I want you to note that this cipher is not monoalphabetic, which means in in here, do you notice any letters that mean different that correspond to different letters even though they're the same here? Like look at the S. The S here is one, two, three, four, five, six letters in. One, two, three, four, five, six. So in this case, S is equal to N. But S is also equal to a letter two doors down. S is also R. That's what makes this code so hard to break. So this cipher is actually called polyalphabetic. More than one, uh, one letter can mean more than one letter in this case.
Now you don't have to use the date to provide a key number. Any number will do so you can figure out any key you want. Just make sure you do give the key to the person that you do want to decode your message.